what up this benji and um back with another tutorial about to show y'all how to use geist within ableton setting it up to where you can record multiple uh tracks at one time instead of doing an export within geist uh it's where real easy this way real simple and i'm gonna show y'all how i do it first thing i do is just pull in geist uh just go ahead and pull guys in which i already done next thing i'm gonna do is just set up my my audio tracks all right so i'm gonna do eight <clears throat> for this actually yeah no actually i'll do i'm gonna do six one two three four five six so i got six tracks here and i'm just gonna group everything together so they can all be together all right next thing i want to do is go ahead and set my <clears throat> audio inputs on my actual tracks to listen to guys uh, so I'll go here, external in, and find where Geist is located and just select it. They all are highlighted, so that's why, uh, you know, you can see them. They did it all at the same time because they all highlighted them, so they can just do it all in one swoop. All right, next thing I'm going to do, just go ahead and set my outputs on the actual track itself. All right, so I'm going to go here, one, sub one sub two sub three sub four sub five and sub six excuse me all right now that all my channels are set all my uh, audio tracks are set you can just go ahead and name them uh, i usually just wait until i see exactly what tracks i'm going to be using uh, i do uh, so I do that just in case I'm not using a certain sound or whatever. Do that at the end or once I get the sounds in. So next thing I do is go in, go into Geist. <clears throat> and I have a pre-made loop already. I like to do that a lot. I'll just make pre-made pre loops and just set them aside for future uh, usage. Um, and this is one of the case right here as well as this sample that we're going to be listening to which is just a simple loop that i made a few few months back or whatever all right so let's just listen to it and see what we work working with first i'm gonna turn it down a little bit all right so that's the loop of the beat that's coming from guys all right so i'm now i'm going to set my outputs so they can all be recorded into ableton at one time so first thing you want to do is go to your pad mixer that's where all your outputs in your mixer is actually uh located and that's for each engine so you go to the different engines and you can see the uh, different pad mixes or whatever since everything is on engine one you can see that all the sounds are coming from engine one so i could just go ahead and just use engine one for everything all right so then i go down here to where it said parent and that's where you set your outputs so first thing set my output s1 is output one s2 uh s3 uh, s4 s5 s six seven and eight so i didn't make eight uh audio tracks because i know that i'm not using i'm not going to use eight uh tracks this this actually is only one two three four four tracks one two three four and i have this muted because i'm not using that all right <clears throat> Next thing you want to do is go down here to your tracks, highlight them all, and set it to monitor in. Uh, that way you can still play the track and be able to hear it. Because if you don't have it on monitor in, you won't be able to hear anything. All right. So just let y'all see that it is coming through and all the different uh, tracks are separated right here. one five so 
Okay, I'm missing one because it's way down here. So I'm just gonna put that on four. So yeah, one, two, two, three, four. And see, that's the reason why I don't like to set my, uh, I, I don't like to name it until I'm done. All right, so now that, they, now that they're all playing through, and what I can do here is just highlight them all and just set them to uh, record in. And right here is where you want to just go ahead and name everything. So uh, I'm going to just do that real quick. 808, snare, and hat one. Boom. And now you could just hit record and then record in they record in right next thing you do after you stop it just go ahead and highlight them all and put them to auto that way they all are being listened like you you hearing the the tracks exactly from Ableton instead of from from the plugin itself and here you have it at this point you could just go ahead and uh deactivate guys because everything that you recorded is in here like i like to keep guys in sometimes i like uh delete it because you could just delete it now but I keep it in just in case I want to switch up the pattern to a different pattern and use different sounds. And I have it right then. Then I can go back to the kick and, you know, monitor in, monitor everything back in and switch up the pattern, switch up everything and then record it all at the same time. Or I just do it all in one swoop sometimes. All right. So that was a tutorial on me giving you. Uh, the rundown on how I use guys within Ableton. I hope y'all got something out of that. I hope you can use it to your advantage. Uh, hit me up, subscribe, leave comments below, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.